Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 demo on configuring key performance indicators. This demo will show users how to configure key performance indicators specifically to what they want to see. We'll cover charts including aged accounts receivable, trial balances, income and expense, aged inventory, cash cycle, cash flows, and top 10 customers by sales value, just to name a few. From the Small Business Role Center, click Select Chart from the Key Performance Indicators section. The top 10 customers by sales value chart now displays. When you hover over the bars, more information appears. Click the leftmost column to drill down further. The corresponding customer card will pop up. The rightmost column displays all the other customers that rank lower than 10th place. When you drill down, a list of all customers that rank lower than 10th place opens. Let's now demonstrate the aged inventory chart. This chart shows the total inventory value grouped by the number of days that the items have been in inventory. When we click to drill down, the corresponding item ledger entries are shown. We can also change the chart period length. The aged inventory chart changes so that it shows total value of aged inventory per week instead of per month. Let's now demonstrate the cash cycle chart. This chart shows how long cash is bound in the process in the company, from the day you purchase inventory to the days when you receive payment from customers. To go to the next period, click the double arrow. We can also change the period length by clicking period length and choosing day, week, month, quarter, and year. Let's now pull up the cash flow chart. This chart shows you future cash position based on system data. To calculate data, it adds up receivables and liquid funds and subtracts payables. Let's look at the previous period. When you choose a drill down on a cash flow chart column, the corresponding account in the chart of accounts is shown. This chart gives you a quick overview of the trend in income and expenses for your company. By comparing the numbers from multiple periods, you can easily see if one or the other needs further investigation. Let's take a look at the trial balance chart. This chart provides a quick overview of the financial performance of your company, displayed in three periods. This chart is a lightweight version of the general ledger trial balance chart. The total revenue figure corresponds to the total in your chart of accounts. You can also shift the period. Let's drill down into total revenue. Notice the corresponding account in the chart of accounts is shown. We've selected a chart from the KPI part again and are now going to show the value of the aged accounts payable. This chart shows pending outbound payment amount summed for a period that you select. The first column shows the amount on pending payments that are not past the due date. The following column or columns show overdue amounts within the selected period from the payment due date. Notice the corresponding vendor ledger entries are shown. The chart changes so that it shows the total value of aged accounts payable per month instead of per week. This chart shows pending inbound payment amount summed for a period that you select. The first column shows the amount of pending payments that are not past the due date. The next column or columns show overdue amounts within the selected period from the payment due date. When you choose a drill down on a chart column, the corresponding customer ledger entries are shown. This chart shows sales trends by customer group in the selected period. When you drill down on a chart column, the list of corresponding customers are shown. You can also view by period. This concludes our Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 demo on configuring key performance indicators.